Hey guys, Kakarot197 again. This time with an unboxing of the 104 scale High Grade Central Century Gundam Pixie from the Gundam Cross Dimension 0079 Super Famicom game. And no, I did not pay 9,579 yen for this. So, as you can probably tell by the box, this is unfortunately a P Bandai model kit, but it is. Well, it does have a little bit more to it than the usual boring P Bandai box. It's telling you about the game and how after you clear the first part of the game, well, the first mission of the game, you get access to a unique scenario that was specifically made for that game in which you basically play as the guy who gets to control the Gundam Pixie. I, I did start this game a long time ago, but I never got through the whole thing. Anyways, back to this model kit. And yeah, like I said before, P Bandai boxes generally not a lot to them. They do have a nice stylish look, but let's see what's inside of the box. And the first thing I see is a relatively big sticker sheet with some stickers that probably should have been parts on a modern high grade. And looking at this rear runner, I see a shield, which the pixie shouldn't come with, so it's probably going to be a remold uh, from the ground gym. So I don't think we're gonna be lucky enough to get a whole ground shield. Would be cool to get it with a pixie, although you probably can't mount it anyways. But if we're using the ground gym joints, that is very promising because, of course, the Pixie is mostly a close combat machine. Oh, and you also get his insignia as a clear marking sticker. Would have been cool to get a little bit more, but as a Gundam, it is good to just get any kind of marking stickers, to be honest. Um, things are looking a bit purple. I guess his backpack is supposed to be this kind of purple color. Part of me is just very used to having backpacks in gray, so that's why I'm, my first thought uh, when I see a backpack that's not gray is, hmm, maybe that should be gray. And, oh man, that is a really nice effect part. And something we don't see, I want to say we don't see it often, but I don't think we see it almost never, like extra beam effect, like really effect parts and not just the beam saber. It's something that we often see with Robot Damashis, and I think like almost all of the Robot Damashis nowadays come with those effect parts, but it is cool to see it on a high grade. So I think that... I thought there was a piece missing here because I saw the pegs sticking out, but nothing to them. Anyways, um, what was I saying? So yeah, it would be cool if more high grades came with like these kinds of effect parts. Or even like how the Damashis come with uh, thruster effect parts. And we get some more internals from the ground gym, I'm going to assume. Oh, no, this, of course, this is from the Pix itself because it has that, um, well, basically it has a beam Uzi with um, beam dagger that you can attach to it. And then finally, let's have a look at the manual. Typical P Bandai fashion just tells you how to build the model kit with no cool extras like we usually get with standard model kits. Which is a shame because it would have been cool to have some extra lore about the Gundam Pixie. So then, all that's left to do now is to go ahead and build this thing. And as always, give a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope all of you watching have a great day. And I'll see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing.